is our last set. This is the red set, and it's not seen very often. It was used last week. So Pentecost, Reformation, other Saint Sundays, not a lot. But this was the very first piece that I did for you all. And I specifically chose the square shape and put it on point because for both of the times, the big days that we use the red, it's about change coming to the church. So take a square, point it on end, get ready to move. So was your congregation surprised at these little free flowing I think they were. <laughs> red drops? We get lots of questions. What are those for? But... And do they notice that they move? Imagine. Okay, no one said anything yeah. about you. And I believe there's some hanging at the hemline of the stool, maybe, so they probably move oh, when the pastor would. Yeah. So do you know what, why I use that shape? No, my guesses were, I always think teardrops, but I also think water and badges. And yes, and, and there's one other. So yes, you're very close, <laughs> you're right on. So we always like being reminded of our baptism, and since we use this when we're celebrating, people who have been crucial to the life of the church, it's a good thing to think about our baptism. But also we think about people who have suffered, so people who have martyred, people who have suffered for their faith, and so there are tears and also drops of blood. So sacrifice is definitely a part of this also. I like the vividness of the red. Typically red is very popular. I'm sure your congregation thinks this is fun to have them on. And there are two different runners that are used on your altar. And then the very last thing we did for this set of five colors was the set of wall hangings. These are very personal for our congregation. And why are they so personal? The members of the congregation made the crosses. We cut them out and then we gave them to you to make our banners. And there's a lot of unusual fabric. And I know I didn't choose that fabric. The fabric was from where? donated from the congregation. Okay. Everybody's been in their favorite pieces of um, clothing or just a, um, some, something that was special to them. So I was really hoping that when they come to worship, you would find that people would look for their crosses. Does that happen? I think sometimes it does. Okay. Well, they're only up twice a year, so they... So when they, when they come on that Sunday, yeah. they better be looking. Right. I will say I remember this lace up there that I think was a bride's dress. I know that somebody brought their father's tie. This is a mother of the groom, I believe. And look at, here's Wonder Woman. Oh, goodness. So I think, and I do remember one little boy brought his toddler's t-shirt, his very favorite shirt, and cut it up to put on this banner. It was just amazing to see all of that happen. And I really do hope that these wall hangings are part of what makes your congregation feel at one, be a family in Christ when they gather in this place. It's really special. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.